I'm Leonard Malton, and welcome to a Malton Minute, seen only here on DirecTV Pay-Per-View. Our month-long salute to the Oscars continues with a visit to one of Hollywood's most famous movie studios, 20th Century Fox. Standing sets like this one on New York Street used to be the mainstay of Hollywood filmmaking. And while this realistic backdrop is still used all the time, many of today's filmmakers do something the studios rarely did back in the 1930s. They actually go on location to shoot movies where they take place. The Last Kiss did just that, but with a modern-day twist. The film is based on a 2001 Italian movie of the same name. And for this American remake, two of its producers decided to set it where they went to college, the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Zach Braff stars as an average guy who learns that his fiancée is pregnant, which forces him to face a reality he'd rather avoid. It's time for him to start acting like a grown-up. He seeks comfort in the company of his longtime pals, but they're no more mature than he is. Before long, he finds himself succumbing to the advances of an attractive younger woman, played by Rachel Bilson. If all of this sounds slightly familiar, don't let that put you off from watching The Last Kiss. It does cover ground that other movies have trodden on before, but I still found it honest and entertaining, a rare combination. Jacinda Barrett, Blythe Danner and Tom Wilkinson are among the talented ensemble who were directed by fellow actor turned director Tony Goldwyn. As for location, The Last Kiss did film some scenes in Madison, especially around the college campus, but most of it, in best 21st century fashion, was shot in Canada. I'll be back introducing other movies I like here on DirecTV, and you'll find all my Malton Minutes at DirecTV.com.